What's up? This is Tarek. So every so often, a product comes along that you just know is going to make waves in its industry. Think back about a decade ago. Wahoo did exactly that with the Kicker Direct Drive Trainer and fast forward to today and they might just be repeating history with their latest innovation, the Kicker Run Smart Treadmill they announced last week. Now, as a triathlete, indoor running is a huge part of my training and I have over 2,500 running miles logged on Zwift. But let's be honest. Treadmill companies have not done much to innovate and treadmill tech has been stagnant and pretty much the same for the past decade or two. So I was really excited to hear about the Kicker Run. So I grabbed my wife and I told her, hey, we're flying to Boston to check out a new treadmill and she's a runner herself and uh, she didn't mind uh, going to Boston. So we had the opportunity to meet up with Wahoo team and Zwift team was there as well at the Boston Run Show and take the kicker run for a spin. And uh, let me tell you, I was very impressed with what they have done. So in this video, we're going to dive into the nitty gritty, the specs, the pricing and availability, but let's cut to the chase here. What's really turning heads is that run free mode and that's what I'm really excited to talk to you about. So let's talk about the kicker run smart treadmill. First things first, the Kicker Run's design is sleek and modern, and when you see it, there is no mistaking who is it from, especially with those signature Wahoo chevrons on the belt. And speaking of which, they have opted for a regular belt over the SLAS design found in some higher end models. Now, I have run on both type of treadmills, slats and regular belts, and yeah, slats can generate less impact, and some might say slats resemble natural surfaces better, but I have been through two treadmills and never once thought that my next treadmill will need to have slots. With that said, I actually found the Kicker Run deck to strike a perfect balance. It's not too bouncy, not too hard, it just feels right. Dimension wise, the deck sets at 11.8 inches off the ground and the running surface is 60 inches long and 22 inches wide. The whole treadmill stretches out to be 170 inches in length and 37 inches in width and comes in at a solid 450 pounds. Nothing is going to move this thing and it can support up to 250 pounds of weight. Now onto connectivity, the treadmill offers Wi-Fi capabilities similar to the Kicker Direct Drive Trainer. It basically connects to your home Wi-Fi network and pairs with apps that are connected to your home Wi-Fi networks like Zwift for example. And there's also the option for the Direct Connect option using Wahoo's Direct Connect uh, dongle if Wi-Fi isn't your thing. And the treadmill is also Bluetooth compatible with the standard three connection setup typically uh, found on recent Wahoo hardware. It has two bottle holders, a laptop tray with a strap to hold your laptop in place and a tablet holder Plus, there's a USB-C port for keeping your devices charged while running. The console has three programmable buttons on top. The idea behind these buttons is to be able to set them to interact with third-party apps. So, for example, in Zwift, they can be used to navigate turns or activate power-ups. Under that, you will find metrics like your pace and incline. And you can change the pace from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. And if you want to see more metrics, what you see here is the Wahoo's own apps that you can use to record your workouts if you do not want to use a third-party app like Zwift, for example. And as you see, it display and capture all kind of running metrics, including ground contact time and vertical oscillation. Then there's a speed paddle on the right and the incline paddle on the left. The speed paddle in particular is very interesting. If you give it a slight tap, it will give you small adjustments in speed or you can give it a full tap for bigger jumps in speed and it varies by your speed. So for example, as you see here, it jumps from 40 minute mile to 30 minute mile, then 13 minute mile, then 12 minute mile, and next one is 10 minute mile, then it increases by one minute mile, then 30 seconds per mile, then 10 seconds miles from there. The whole idea here is to get you to your target speed pretty quickly. And if you want to get super precise, just hold the paddle forward to fine tune your speed second by second. The same logic applies in reverse for slowing down. So the Kicker Run has the capability to reach speeds of up to four minute mile pace, which clocks in at 15 miles per hour. 
And this is significant, guys, because most treadmill max out at 12 to 13 miles per hour, only select high-end treadmill can reach that speed and are generally priced at nine to $10,000. Now, for the majority of runners, 50 miles per hour is a speed we can only dream of. But for elite athletes, this is significant because that price jump is significant for those few extra miles. So you will probably see a lot of elite runners running on this thing. Now, let's get into the real meat of this machine, and that is the running tech. Sure, you can use the kicker run just like any other treadmill, adjusting speed and incline with the paddles, and that's it. But here's where it gets really interesting, the free run mode. Just hit the button with the little road icon and you are in for a treat. This treadmill has an advanced positioning sensor technology. It actually adjusts the build speed to match your stride in real time. The sensor sits below the console and monitor your position on the build and your stride and adjust the build speed to match your stride. So if you naturally pick up your pace, the treadmill speeds up. And if you slow down, it slows down and it's pretty wild. There is a bit of a learning curve or a breaking in period. It's all about learning to trust it basically. And as you see here, I am running on the Mayfield track in Zwift and I am naturally, just naturally trying to adjust my speed to match the prescribed workout without touching anything, just like I do outside. I'm just concentrating on my running. So I'm doing this naturally, just like I do when I run outside and the treadmill is adapting to my stride. That's the complete opposite than how you run on every other treadmill these days. With a regular treadmill, you set the speed you want to run, then try to match your stride to that speed, which if you have ran on any treadmill, particularly when doing speed work, then you probably know what I'm talking about here. It feels like that belt is controlling you, not the other way around. And if you want to add a little bit of variety to your run, this treadmill auto adjusts the incline to mimic the terrain that you see on Zwift. So this treadmill can go up to 15% incline and down 3% decline. It actually felt wild, especially when you are speeding down a virtual hill. But Wahoo did not stop there. This treadmill can tilt, and I mean really tilt from side to side, 1.5% to be precise. And this serves two purposes. First one is to auto level itself. So if you've gotten an even floor at home, no problem. The kicker run automatically adjusts to keep itself leveled. Pretty wild, right? The other idea here is to simulate real terrain and vary the pitch of the surface. Of course, this needs to be all built into Zwift or whatever app you end up using to send that kind of information to the treadmill. And the treadmill also has a run connected mode. And this mode is designed for structured training. Basically, the treadmill works with Zwift, for example, to automatically adjust the speed and incline based on the workout you are doing. So if your training program says it's 3% incline at 8.9 miles per hour, the treadmill will adjust its incline and speed accordingly to match the prescribed interval. And this mode hasn't been finalized yet and I couldn't try it out, but basically as you enter a speed interval, you will have to confirm the increase in speed by tapping the speed paddle. And as you enter the recovery section, the treadmill will automatically just slow down which is pretty wild. But I'm actually interested to see how people will end up using it for workouts. Are they going to use a free run mode and just run naturally or use a connected mode? So it will be interesting to see how people end up using it. The treadmill also feels very quiet. We ran it at 50 miles per hour and I could not hear a thing. <laughs> but I was also at a crowded expo and during this demo. So it will be interesting to see how quiet it is when I have one at home. And speaking of having one, when can you get your hands on this beast and how much is it going to set you back? As of now, folks in the US get the first crack at it in the summer of 2024. And for my global audience, you'll have to hang tight until 2025 for the worldwide rollout. And speaking of the price tag, the kicker run is going to retail at 4,999 US dollars. And from my chat with Wahoo team, it seemed like this price is pretty set in stone, but hey, 
In the world of tech, things can change in a heartbeat, especially when it comes to finalizing production and delivery details. So don't be totally surprised if the price changes as we get closer to summer, but let's hope it stays at that $5,000. So overall, I've got to say, I am really impressed with what Wahoo has pulled off here. They have taken a stable of indoor training and turned it on its head with some seriously smart tech. So, and let's talk about pricing for a second. At $4,999 US dollars, or let's just say $5,000, I actually think Wahoo's hit a sweet spot here. It is a premium product, no doubt about it, but for what it offers, I just cannot argue with that price. Now, the crown jewel of the Kicker Run is a free run mode. This feature is definitely a game changer. It allows you to run to your potential, not just what you think you can do. It adapts your natural pace and stride not the other way around. On a regular treadmill, there's always that risk of overestimating your speed and your body ends up playing catch up with the belt, which isn't great and can possibly cause injuries. But with the Kicker Runs free mode, you just run and let the treadmill do the work for you and you don't have to worry about possibly leaving some speed on the table or overestimating your speed. Wahoo's Kicker Run is a leap forward in treadmill technology. It's smart, it's intuitive and it's got the potential to transform indoor running as we know it. And I'm really excited to see where this takes us in the world of indoor training. But what I wanna hear is from you. What do you think about the Wahoo Kicker Run Smart Treadmill? Do you see it revolutionizing your indoor running experience? Do you think it's a game changer or just another treadmill? And considering its features and innovative free run mode, do you think the Kicker Run is worth the investment? Would you consider adding it to your training arsenal? Let's get that conversation rolling. There you have it, folks. Do not forget to tap that like button. And uh, if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.